What it is, Desi Ma? What is up today, y'all? We just got a cooking with Desi Des. First and foremost, let me um put my apron on because boo, is you even shifting it up if you ain't got no apron on? And y'all see my apron? My fiance got this for me for Christmas. I actually got two aprons from for Christmas. Um, his parents got me one too, but I don't have that one right now. Um, so yeah. All right, there we go. So. Let's put our apron on, first of all. It's real cute, you know what I'm saying? Real cute, but today, y'all, we will be chefing up some stuffed salmon. We stuffing the salmon with some pecans and stuff. Y'all gonna see in some green onion and stuff like that. It's different. And then we're gonna put it in the air fryer. I'm gonna show y'all though when we get to that point. But for right now, I got some water boiling because that's how I take my skin off of my salmon. A lot of people cut it with the knife. I've never tried to cut it with the knife, but yeah, I've always just boiled water and poured it on there to get the skin off. But first and foremost, when I get my salmon, I usually use wild caught salmon that's all we've been eating for a while now but for this i needed to be thicker and wild caught salmon just isn't thick um so i actually got regular salmon today but i always soak my salmon in salt water why did this man mess this salmon up like this when he cut it look at this big old chunk going right here y'all i hate when people mess it up because i want my food to look pretty man dang that just made me mad, but it's gonna be okay though. I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna soak this in some salt water and some water with some salt and some lemon. Um, because y'all know how you cook it and it turn white. Sometimes, really if you overcook it is when it turns white, but sometimes you don't even have to overcook it for it to turn white. It just be doing that. But yeah, so we're gonna take our mixing bowl right here. We're gonna turn our water on. We have a, um water system that alkalines our water so yeah I'm just waiting for it to say alkaline there you go and we're just gonna fill this up with some water we're gonna put our salmon in here okay and then oh the water is splashing everywhere let me throw this in the trash always clean up as you go because baby the kitchen get messy real quick and we don't got time for that there you go himalaya salt perfect all right we got enough water Turn that off. So now we have our salmon here and some water. Y'all see that? Just sitting in some water, just some plain on the water. And we're gonna come in with our salt. And I do a good amount of salt because it's a good amount of water. I do a good amount of salt. It ain't like it's gonna make the salmon saltier than that. It's really just soaking it. So yeah. And then I'm gonna go one more. Water needs to change a little bit. There we go. Then I'm gonna take my lemon. I got lemon and lime. I usually only use key limes too, but for this, we ain't being the healthiest, okay? We just we just trying to eat some good food. We ain't trying to be the healthiest right now. For some people, this is healthy eating, but, <laughs> but some people it's not. For me, this is not. I'm not gonna say it's bad for you. It's just like, we could have healthier options if you know what I'm saying. Um, but it's not at all bad for you. All right, let's go. Squeeze that up in there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, so we are making this over some pasta. It should be real, real good. We're going to make like a uh, linguine pasta, but we're going to make it with a cream base. I don't really know what I'm going to do yet, but right now I'm going to just let this soak. I'm letting my water over there boil. Then we are just going to get some onions and peppers and all that. Chop them up in my chopper. And then I'll show y'all what they look like after. I'm probably going to do celery, onions, and bell peppers. And chop them up all together in my big old chopper over there. Then I'll come back to y'all after. No, because first of all, why would you even watch a girl not subscribe? I wouldn't do you like that, so don't do me like that. Period, poo, no more, none less. Go ahead and subscribe to your girl channel. And while you at it, you might as well screenshot on my social so you can go follow me later after this video it's i am desi desi on every social so please go follow me period poo. 
Okay, y'all, so it turns out I don't have any celery or peppers, so we just going with onions, okay? All right, and I, I don't want y'all talking about me because I'm not a cutter person. I just do what needs to be done, okay? I'm not the type to chop all pretty and be like, chip, chip, chip. no, that ain't me. I just chop these things up and it's just gonna get the job done and that's just that on that. Take all this off. I take off this layer too, just because we don't need all that. And let me tell y'all, if you're cooking with nails like me and you're cooking with your hands, like seasoning chicken or something, please wear gloves because it's just not sanitary. Like, I know we wash our hands and stuff. Like, I don't see no problem with cooking with your hands. As long as you wash your hands multiple times as you cook in, which it happens automatically. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, just make sure you're washing your hands, okay? Because, I mean, make sure you wear gloves if you got long nails because it's just not sanitary. And we actually finna puree some of these, some of these, and some of these we are going to just chop up, but yeah. So first, let's puree them. Y'all see this? It's puree. Y'all see how it's like smooth, smooth, smooth. Yep. There we go. That's just what we wanted. We actually need more, so we're gonna come in with this. We're gonna keep them in there, and we're just gonna make some more. Ah, it got on my hand. And there we go. We're gonna just let that sit, but y'all see how it's like liquidy? Like, yeah, that's how we just see it. So, let's clean this off. Okay, okay, y'all. So, y'all see our salmon? We have cleaned our salmon. It's looking a little less as pink, you know what I'm saying? So, now we're gonna come in with our boiling hot water. I'm gonna put it in this measuring glass. This don't burn me. Mad is an understatement. Okay, y'all see this? This is our boiling hot water. I'm gonna do this over the seat because it could get messy. Come on, over here. You really should clean all the dishes out your sink. I got a dish in the sink from this morning just because, girl, I was lazy. All right, let's go. And you just gonna pour it, and y'all probably can't see, but it's gonna start lifting up. Okay, y'all, so our salmon is now done. Now we're just gonna come in. Let's rinse our knives off, hold up. Okay, y'all, so what we're gonna do is you're gonna take your salmon and you're gonna split your salmon right down the middle, just like I have done here. Y'all see this? Clean cut right down the middle. Um, yeah, my salmon look a little beat up right now. Clearly, I didn't get no good pieces from the store, but it's gonna be okay. It's gonna all work out. Okay, y'all, and then we're gonna go in. So this is what I use to season my Salmon. First of all, I go in with some white pepper. Hit the white pepper real good, okay? White pepper has a strong flavor, but it's a really good flavor. I love white pepper flavor. Um, yeah, it's just good to me. So I go in pretty heavy with the white pepper. Um, that's for one. I wish y'all could see like, what I'm doing, but my thing is not like, I need it to be like here so y'all could see. But And then I go in with this. This is some Obey garlic Obey. We're gonna go in with this. You're just gonna sprinkle it all over. Don't be too heavy with the Obey because Obey can be spicy and salty. So don't go crazy with the Obey. I would say probably about, um, I don't know measurements, y'all. I was trying to give y'all measurement, but I don't know measurements. Then I go in with the regular Obey. Season that up real good. And remember you wanna slice your salmon down the middle before you do it. So season with your Obey. Then I come in with, paprika is really bad for you, actually. Um, you can go in with paprika if you use paprika. I do sometimes, I'm not gonna act like I don't use paprika. I use paprika sometimes, but today we're gonna go in with some chili powder. To me, they do the same effect. The chili powder has a little more flavor than paprika. Paprika is just, to me, to darken things up, but I like um, chili powder a little better, the chili powder, it's nice. Nice um, flavoring, but if you go on paprika, you can go pretty strong because you want to give it that blackened look. Um, and yeah, so this is what 
my salmon look like let me show y'all after i wash my hands okay so do y'all see how seasoned this salmon is okay we didn't use nothing with heavy salt or none of that but trust me it's gonna be good and you can also go in it with some tony's creole seasoning okay y'all period okay so i have now showed y'all my salmon i'm really mad that this one is looking like real beat up but it's okay we're gonna move that right on over to the side okay y'all so now you want to get to make your stuffing that's gonna go inside your salmon so we're gonna come in with some of these this is some glazed pecans many people don't use glaze but i do i like the glazed ones okay so we're gonna go with some glazed pecans then you have to go in with some bread and crumbs green onions and mayo okay y'all listen these are gonna come together real good and you want to get you some seasonings but we're gonna talk about that in a second let me just get my measuring glass i usually mix mine up in a bowl but for today we're gonna do a measuring glass because this measuring glass is gonna work boo so let me show y'all so first we're gonna come in with our pecans And we're gonna use this whole thing. That's why I brought two bags, because I knew I was gonna use this whole one. Oh, we ain't letting none get left behind. Then we're gonna come in with some mayo. If you don't like mayo, you might not like this recipe. It don't taste like mayo after you cook it, but you know some people, once they get it set in their mind that they don't eat something, they just don't eat it, so. Then we're gonna come in with our breading crumbs. Put them up in there. Okay, y'all see that? All right. Then we're gonna come in with our green onion. Let me chop this up real quick. I should've already did this. My fiance is gonna be really mad at me that I did not make leftovers for this because these, I just missed the dang thing. This, this, this salmon, y'all, this salmon recipe is so good. It don't make no sense. It don't make no sense. And I can already tell that we're going to have to go in with some more mayo, I think. But we're going to keep what we got for right now. Then, after you have this, you want to go in with some... You want to go in with some garlic powder. Then you're going to go in with some onion powder. I don't have onion powder today. Um, and then you would go in with some paprika too, some smoked paprika. I would do paprika, I wouldn't do chili powder for this part, I would actually do paprika, but um, I don't have any, I don't have no onion powder, which is crazy to me, because I use onion powder on so much stuff, I can't believe I don't have none, I don't even remember throwing the thing away. But anyways, we're gonna come in with a little bit of this. That's good enough, that's good enough flavoring, okay y'all? And then you can go in with your paprika too, which is what we about to do. And y'all see, I told y'all, I do use paprika. Y'all see, it's like almost at the end. I do use paprika, even though I heard it's not good for you. But I do use it, and I really don't have that much left. Barely anything came out. But all you gonna do after this, after you done mixed everything, you can mix it in a bowl. You don't have to mix it in a measuring cup. Measuring cup is, is better for me. You gonna come in with a spoon, and you just gonna mix it all up boo mix it up real good you know what i'm saying we'll mix it up real good you want it to be thick and creamy okay you want the mayo to make it like thick you don't want the bread and crumbs and all that to be sticking out you know what i'm saying so like i told y'all i think we gotta go in with some more you can also add obey to this if you want to if you like spice and stuff you can add some obey that's probably real good and you kind of want to beat it you know what i'm saying beat it a little bit after i finish doing this i'm gonna come back to y'all okay y'all so here is our salmon we have stuffed it this is what it should look like y'all after you stuff it right down the middle where you made that slit at all you're gonna do is stuff it right here y'all see my thing is empty we use just the perfect amount you really could use a little bit more if you would like because it could come over a little bit but like y'all see this one is like coming over this one not really it's like dead in the middle but yeah y'all see there's some big pieces of salmon you really probably can't tell how big they are but they actually long so we're gonna sit this right here right before we stick it in the air fryer and i'm gonna get to boiling my noodles and all that i really should have been did that but i forgot so we about to do it right now okay y'all so i just cut, cut up some of this chicken um sausage this is apple you can also use andula sausage or pork sausage whatever you want to use i just don't eat pork or beef well, I eat beef sometimes, but I'm not eating it right now. Um, we got our noodles in here. They're going to take about 10 to 13 minutes. So we're going to come over here to our air fryer. We're going to 
gonna pop this in here. We're gonna turn, hit power. We're gonna turn this to about 390. And then we're gonna cook for, I say we cook for 13 minutes and see our progress. So let's just start this. Bet it on up. Then over here, we got this pan getting hot. We're gonna come in here with some butter and some oil and drop these sausages right on up in there. So let's go. Okay, y'all, so we're just gonna take the puree onions and put them right on up in here. Y'all see how they like, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, y'all know what I'm saying. Let's throw this away. Y'all see the, um, really creating its own grease, which is good. The butter that was in there, it's all good. We're gonna take this and we're gonna mix this up together. And then we're gonna come in with a little bit of, um, we wanna come in with some heavy whipping cream, Parmesan cheese, and chicken broth. And you're gonna pour them in here. Um, I just let this cook down a little bit before I do it, like this, how it start browning, how the onions is like brown now. Y'all see how it's browning? And then I'm gonna come in and pour all my stuff in there. So I'll come back to y'all after I pour it in there. Them three ingredients that I just told y'all. Okay, and y'all see this? This is our pasta. I also went in and added some obey. I added this garlic obey. And I also added some chili powder. Ooh, yes, sir. And I really added that for the color because it's super white if you don't. But if you want like a yellow, you can also add some Dijon mustard. Or you can add whatever you want, really. You know, season it to your liking. You don't have to season it the way I season it. But that's just seasoning it to my liking. So, yeah. And then we're going to come over here to our salmon okay a good cooked salmon period i'm gonna take it out of here and then i'm gonna show y'all it on top of the pasta and that's how we're gonna present it baby okay okay y'all and here we have it oh baby oh this been a bust stop playing with me stop playing with me y'all see that this is a perfect cook Y'all see that? Ooh, but the top is crispy. You know what I'm saying? We finna let my fiance taste it and he gonna give y'all a rating. Just wait till he get back. Hold up. All right, let's go. Taste it. Tell me how, tell me how it tastes. First, we taste the pasta. What just flipped on me? Your food is alive, my boy. The pasta and the sauce is no homo. <laughs> crazy okay it's great but this this the part right here point that part okay we need to get a good piece I need everything in it babe it's in the front up there it's in the front yes okay I need more of it take it up okay the salmon is cooked perfectly. Just it's laid right off. Just taste it Man, just shh, let me. This is my time to shine, bro. Just a little bit of pasta. There we go. I have to do it. Do it. You know what I have to do. Do it. I just hold his hands, please. This is his happy dance when my food tastes good, y'all. Rate it on a scale of one to ten, babe. Fifteen and a half. No, six. Fifteen out of 16. ten? No, be truthful. Sixteen, bro. You know your cooking is like that. Look at your shirt. Stop playing with me. That's all for this video. Bye, y'all. Love y'all. Come from they don't make your kind no more. No, no more. You're more like
fucking auntie You're all that I need Sweeter than my Tennessee honey